Hey, what's up everyone? I am back. I am back to um do um more videos on YouTube. Um, this time I figured I can tackle a theory. Now this is gonna be a bit a big one. This is gonna be a big video here. Um as the thumbnail shows here, could Disney sell 20th Century Fox? I'm going to be talking about that, of them maybe selling it, maybe they're not. I'll be talking about that in my video. Um, if you guys are interested in my theories and stuff, please check out my, um, my other videos on theories and stuff. And um, hit that like button and subscribe so you can be notified for future videos. All right, let's talk about this now. Um, this is a big one here, though, a big one. I actually meant to do this one a few weeks ago, but I got kind of busy and stuff with things and stuff, so I didn't get to it. Um, I was going to do this tomorrow, but I figured, why not just get it out of the way right now in case I don't sleep well at night and have to do this again, you know, to... Well, I, I end up staying up all night and stuff. I mean, technically, I could just do the video anytime I want. Um, but I don't know. Um, if you guys can't hear me, I'll, I'll, I'll redo this video down the road if that's the case. Because um, there are frogs outside. I am outside, you know, as usual. I'm outside because I don't want to make a lot of noise inside. So, uh, yeah. But you guys can see here the the blue the blue words are um they're blue because they're the dark blue because that's the, the Disney Plus you know um look and then the light blue color the light blue color is um is the the you know the, the old Pixar you know intro um you know background you know they had when you when the the castle would zoom out and stuff you know that. Now, occasionally, it would be different shades of blue, but I figured I would go with, you know, a, a light blue-ish color because, you know, I'm already doing a dark color for Disney Plus, so, you know, that way I'd get a little bit of both, you know. I um, hope you guys like the thumbnail. I really do. Um, yeah, um, anywho, let's talk about this, um... Now, a lot of people um, know um, that Disney bought 20th Century Fox in um, 2019. They, they actually were announcing that they were going to buy it. They, they won the bidding war in 2018 and it, with, with Universal, you know, a.k.a. Comcast. So they ended, up, they ended up, you know, winning the bidding war. And they ended up spending seventy-one billion dollars, which is a lot of money for for this this property. And they didn't even get all of Fox. They they didn't get all of Fox. They got sixty percent of it, and um, the sixty percent that they got, they, they they shut down quite a bit of stuff and canceled a lot of stuff. Apparently, there was Mouse Detective. I guess I I think it was called Mouse Detective. Um, um, I heard that movie looked great, but I didn't get to see it, so I don't know what it's about or anything. Because Disney freaking canceled it. When they bought Fox, they canceled quite a bit of films that were supposed to be released. Um, because Disney knew they, they spent a, a lot of money on it because Disney doesn't give a shit. They don't give a shit, like, if they cancel films, you know, because that's the, the way they, the, the corporation is now and stuff, you know. I mean, Disney's had some trouble in the past, back when Walt Disney was, you know, in there and stuff. Um, I have mentioned in a past video that they... Now they turned on a news related video, I should say, on um, that Peter Pan was a villain and stuff. And I talked about how technically that was around, I think, when Walt Disney was still around and stuff for the company. So there's been clearly problems throughout history, but that's how all companies are, you know. But it had gotten pretty severe recently and stuff. And when, when Disney was announcing that they were going to buy Fox, they not only canceled a lot of original movies and stuff that were being made, but people were freaking out. Like, if you guys go watch, like, like um, reactions to this, uh, there's reactions to it, um, people are freaking out. Like, you could be like, they're surprised, but I don't think that's their, their surprise. I think they're freaking out because Disney freaking, you know, ha has a history of ruining crap when they buy stuff. I mean, look what they did to... 
to um, Marvel and Star Wars. They freaking ruined it. Um, it's it's not the same as it was before they bought it and stuff. And they freaking ruined it. And um, and and then there's other stuff too, like Doug. Um, you know, they end up buying the the, the the company that made Doug, and they freaking ruined Doug. I mean. I heard Nickelodeon's Doug was not the best eater, but it was a lot better than what Disney made. So clearly, Disney has had had a had a a problem with, with you know companies in the past when they purchased them. the The only one that seemed to be staying out is Pixar, which is really odd because I don't know why that is. Don't ask me because I have no idea why Pixar is the one that's you know been staying out of Disney's shenanigan bullshit. But hey, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, that they, you know, but they, they seem to be still Pixar and stuff. And really, really the, the main thing that changed with Pixar was the freaking intro. Because Disney decided, hey, let's, let's, let's use the exact same intro as our own for Pixar. Making Pixar not really stand out anymore, you know. Because in the 1990s and early 2000s, um, Pixar had a different, you know, logo, um, of course, they had the lamp one, of course, but they had like a different intro, you know, that they used with that was their logo, and they that made it stand out to the compared to the 2D one. But when Disney changed their their intro, they decided to do the same thing with Pixar and instead of making it, you know, different they, and using the same theme because that theme was very barely used at all. They decided they decided to, you know, completely destroy it. And um, yeah, that's one thing that Disney did, you know, they destroyed it and stuff and. I don't know though, but yeah, that's what that's where my Fox, you know, thing is coming in because Disney, Disney is freaking destroyed Fox too. It's freaking destroyed too. Um, they, they the Fox has had some problems before Disney bought them. I mean, they 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 keep they made Family Guy and The Simpsons go on longer than they should have. They should have ended those shows a long time ago, and they were also the same company to like to to order more Ice Age films, even though Ice Age, you know, Ice Age, you know, was b dying out, and some people were sick of Ice Age movies. So, cle clearly, there were problems behind Fox before Disney bought them. But when Disney bought them, not only they did they are repeating the same shit that Fox did, but they are much worse. They are much worse than, than Fox was. I mean... They go. They're they're going so far to freaking like, to, to like, getting like laying people off and stuff because of them vo voicing certain skin colored characters. So remember Cleveland and Apu from The Simpsons and Family Guy. Well, apparently Disney has a problem with with them being voiced by black well white people because what once once you know they they bought Fox. It wasn't long after that they freaking. They didn't fire on um, I think the guy that played Cleveland, but they 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 made they made him you know like they made him step down as the voice of Cleveland because it's racist. It's freaking racist for a, a white person to voice a black person when they're the, they're the exact same. Here's the thing: they're the exact same people. Exact same company, I should say, more than people, because they're not everyone in Disney is bad, but they're the same freaking company that decides, hey, let's make Ariel from The Little Mermaid black and Tinkerbell too for our live action remakes. So yeah, that's freaking bullshit that they did that. And um, and although like I said, The Simpsons and Family Guy both have gone downhill. That makes it even worse. And not to mention, not only they did that. To, to that, but they decided that freaking Family Guy and The Simpsons had to constantly reference that Disney owns them all the freaking time. It freaking so it's so stupid. It's so forced. I was actually, yeah, I was actually commenting on a, on one of these um videos and stuff. I said how it's plain wrong with because there's a segment I guess where on where um Bart Bar is um writing on the chalkboard on a sim on a Family Guy. Gag, he's writing on a chalkboard and stuff, and he's saying yeah, he respects Disney and stuff and all that. And apparently, 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 um, Stewie's about to say that's just plain wrong, but then he's like, 
but then he uses the Mickey Mouse oppression. So it's there's definitely shit going on behind Disney with this, and it's freaking way worse than it was on Fox. Fox is not my favorite studio. I'm not gonna lie, it was probably my least favorite. Um, it was my probably out of, out of the six. It was probably I think even Disney honestly had better films than Fox was. I didn't really get into Fox too much. I really did it. I tried to watch like Home Alone and stuff, and just didn't get into it. And there was those god awful Alvin and the Chipmunks movies that were freaking made. The Road Chip being the worst of them. I hated the Road Chip. I despised that that film. The the, the other three had had some stuff that was great about them, but the Road Chip that film was freaking awful, and that's where the I was like, like, come on, Fox, stop making all these sequels. And that's exactly what Disney's freaking doing with Fox. They're making sequels. They're making cons constant sequels and stuff to films that don't need any and franchises that have died a lot. Because Disney has a, 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 um, a thing where they, they tend to buy up stuff and have no idea what they're doing when they buy it up. Because I, I'm I, I am like I'm like why do they why do they need to buy buy up this stuff you know why do they need to buy up all, all these properties you know if they have no idea what they're gonna what they what they're doing with them well they obviously want to do it for money that's all they freaking care about is money and personally I don't mind if a company buys up studios but but Disney buying Fox was it took it way too far because now they they own too many franchises now and that's that's causing causing them you know to to not be making as many films per year because you know now that fox is gobbled up by you know disney and that, go, that goes for if universal bought fox too instead it me it means that that less films are going to be produced because there's not as many you know people there's not as many people working on stuff so i don't know but but yeah, basically though, yeah, so there's been a lot of stuff going on, and then they, and then they, you know, like, they bought 60% of it, but like I said, they canceled a lot of films, I mentioned that early on, they canceled a lot of films and stuff that were close to being done, and then they just decided to shut Blue Sky down too, which, shutting Blue Sky down was a percentage of, of movies they they so clearly disney has no idea what they're doing with fox they have no idea what they're doing they basically bought bought it to have to have a bigger library on disney plus and, and to own the x-men franchise and stuff they and all of marvel that was i mean some people on youtube are are, are saying how it's it's great that disney disney has bought bought that because now they own the x-men's but it's freaking stupid of them to pay seventy-one billion dollars just to own the fucking X-Men franchise. Like, come on, I don't really get it. I don't get why they needed to buy all of Fox just to freaking do that. And again, they didn't even get all of it. They got sixty percent of it. It put the company into debt, and that's where I'm gonna be going going into um going into um like where where Disney could sell it or they could just not sell Fox. I know this is kind of a long introduction to this, um, but I figured I would explain, you know, all the stuff that's been going on since Disney bought Fox, and it's worse. It's freaking actually worse than any, than any you could think. It's worse. I mean, you got you got characters constantly, you know. I mean, they they mean characters constantly make making fun. Of, well, not allowed to make fun of Disney and all that, and basically it's about. I mean, yeah, basically they make jokes about Fox News and stuff and Fox in the past, but but it, it just feels so forced. Like the characters don't want to say it, but they have to say it because, you know, that's the thing. And they turn The Simpsons into, you know, the next Kingdom Hearts because, you know, it's basically a, a TV show version of Kingdom Hearts now because it's just a bunch of freaking Disney references now. So, yeah, there's that. And Family Guy is just um, not, not very good anymore. It hasn't been for a long time either, but... With Disney under it, they're not allowed to, to, to curse as much. And I, I I mean, again, that could be wrong, but what, what I've seen on there, like, it, it seems like, 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 episodes I've seen, it feels like they're not allowed to cuss as much. Because, um, like, like I mentioned on my, my redo of, of the Family Guy episode, um, Customer of the Week, um, how Lois says shaving cream instead of, instead of saying, Oh shit, because, you know, Disney won't let them do that, apparently, I feel like. You know, it's just, it feels so forced and all that. And 
And yeah, they shut Blue Sky down too. So like I mentioned, they shut that down. So they clearly don't... I'm like, wait, what the hell did they get when they bought Fox? What did they get, you know? I mean, they got a bunch of Fox's shitty movies that need franchises that needed to freaking die a long time ago and stuff. And, and clearly, they don't know what they're doing to this. They don't really know at all. And I'm just like... I'm, I'm just like at the point now where I'm just like, I don't really know. I'm I'm kind of just ranting on about Disney and Fox. I probably should be talking about what, what the video is about, actually. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Sorry about your ranting. I'm just I'm just going over why, why... This is basically the reasons why Disney could sell Fox. And here's what I'm getting at here. Um, Yes, Disney could sell Fox. I mean, they could... Um. It doesn't mean they will, but they, they, it's a possibility they could end up selling it because, um, yeah, I'm, I'm done talking about, I'm, I'm done ranting on about, um, about Fox. Um, I'll probably put, put it, I'll probably, um, I'll probably put it in the comments below. Um, if you guys don't want to hear me, um, rant, um, I don't know. Watch well, it's too late. I've already talked about it. Never mind. I can't really put it in the comments now. I don't know. Wish I could have the power to edit videos, but I can't do that yet. So yeah, but but I, I'm done ranting on about this. Let, let's let's actually talk about the real thing about the video. Um, the real video is could Disney sell Fox? Could they sell Fox? Like I said, um, they they bought all this shit up and and um, they have no idea what they're doing with it, and they've lost lots of money, and I think they're still paying off Fox to this day. So. Could Disney sell Fox? Now you may you may be thinking to yourself, well, why why would they want to buy? Why, why would they want to sell it? I mean, it, they got a, a crap ton of movies and stuff. Yes, but Disney is losing tons of money and stuff, and their films are not doing very well. So they may have to do something. And with Bob Chapek in charge and Bob Iger out the door now, um. Bob J. Peck, you know, he's known for the, being the money guy. He may be looking at this and being like, do we really need Fox? Do we need really need Fox to um to to make movies? Because they could just sell it. Um they could just they could just sell it to someone else or something. You don't know. Um Yeah, they could end up selling it to someone else. I mean, it's a possibility. It really is a possibility they could just sell it. But at the same time, you may be thinking, well, didn't they shut Blue Sky down? Well, Blue Sky, they they could, they could shut it down, and yeah, it's so stupid. They could have sold it off and got money off of it, but they'd rather just shut it down and keep competition away, you know. Also, you guys should check out my Blue Sky um movie reviews. I'm in the middle of doing that. Um, I'll be doing the Peanuts movie on Friday, so yeah. But basically, yeah. So they um, they they could they could sell um, they could end up selling you know, they could end up selling Fox because they could be like looking at Blue Sky and like being like, like look, well we 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 shut Blue Sky down, but that ended up pissing off tons and tons of people and stuff. I mean, it pissed off tons of people, and some people were were like defending Disney and being like. Yeah, uh, some people are defending Disney and being like, "Well, D Disney, you know, had had no choice. They had no choice. I mean, they, they COVID caused them to shut it down and stuff, you know, and all that. But, but they they gave quite a bit of their executives and stuff big m multi million dollar raises and stuff. So, and you know, and and, and well, not really raises, but they gave a bunch of money to people and, and all that, and politics and stuff. You know, that's what's going on now with Florida and stuff. So, so it, it's really not an excuse for Disney to shut it down. Plus, again, they they had opportunities to sell it to someone else. They could have sold it to Netflix or Sony. Sony could have bought it or Warner Brothers. I mean, there's there's so many other studios out there that could have bought it and. And instead of, you know, just shutting it down, pissing off tons of people, because a lot of people, you know, are pissed about that. They could be looking at Fox and being like, well, Bob Chapek, actually, not, not they. I mean, Bob Chapek can be looking at, at this and being like, you know, we, we really need the money, and buying Fox has put this company into billion dollars of debt. 
maybe we should just sell it to someone else, maybe, you know, just sell it out. Maybe they could just, they could, they may end up, now here's the thing, they could sell it, they might not sell all of it, they may, what they may, they could do, here's what they could do. They could, they could sell it, but they could, they could sell the movie studio and the channels, but they could keep the, the Marvel stuff, maybe. I don't know how, how that stuff works in Hollywood and stuff when you buy stuff. I don't know how that works. Like, if you buy it, you have to sign a contract with, like, where you can't, you can't sell th this at, this a little at a time. You have to sell the whole thing. I don't know how that works, but, I mean, they could, they could end up, um, selling it, like, most of Fox and just keep in the Marvel stuff, you know, that way they own all of the Marvel except Spider-Man, because Spider-Man's owned by Sony, so. But yeah, they could they couldn't end up could end up selling it. Now, I don't think they're gonna get as much money back for it because um they they overspent on it. So they could sell it sell it and get, you know, a lot of money back, but not all of it. Now, you may be wondering though, who who could who could buy it? Who could buy it? You could be looking at maybe Netflix could buy it. Netflix is probably not the best I person to buy, and I don't think they'd be able to buy it because although Netflix has got a lot of money, they they've also had canceled a lot of shows and lost subscribers and stuff, and and laid people off. So I don't think you know Netflix would be the right person to buy. I'm not saying I'm not really picking who would be the right person. This is not about the, what the video is about. It's about what Disney would do, uh, Disney probably would end up selling it to Universal, maybe. And Universal, honestly, they buy it. They're they're freaking. They're kicking Disney's ass right now. They really are. They're kicking their ass. Um, I think they've got they've got DreamWorks, which DreamWorks is doing better, I think, than Pixar is. And they've got they've got all, all a bunch of better franchises than Disney does. And I mean, Disney's got Star Wars and stuff, but Star Wars is not doing the, the hottest and stuff. You know, it's doing pretty bad. That's another reason why I think think Disney selling Fox would, be, would probably be more likely than the other studios because Fox can give them way more money. If they sold Blue Sky, they probably would have only got, like, maybe $2. billion or something for it. I mean, not really a lot of money. But if they sold Fox, that they could get a lot of money back for that, and that would probably help pay their their stuff off and stuff. So it's a possibility they could sell it. I mean, that's what I would do if I were working for Disney. But I'm not working for Disney, so I'm not the in charge there. So um, yeah. But yeah, they could end up selling it, and someone else could buy it, and um, and yeah, but. But here's another thing too. Here's another thing that, that makes this con confusing and stuff. I, I'm not. I was not gonna do this. I, I was actually gonna originally. I think I might have wanted to do this. I can't remember. But I think I was gonna originally um, um, make a separate video on, like you know, could Disney, could Disney shut, you know, 20th Century Fox down. But that's the thing that. With, with with both of them, they're kind of, they kind of both run into you know this video here, and I don't think it's necessary to make a video about that. However, I will make a video about about another 20th Century Fox video down the road. Um, not right now, but probably like maybe mid June, maybe in June, maybe I'm not sure. I'll, I'll give you guys a hint though. It's it's something to do with Universal. So uh, yeah, I'll we'll give you that. Um, but that, that'll be down the road, so, uh, yeah, um, this one's more about, you know, this one's focusing more on about whether Disney will like, sell it or not, that's the thing. Now, I'm not, again, I'm not saying this is a guarantee, but, I mean, I, I would be happy if they would sell it, because I would like to see another studio take over this and just and maybe fix some of these franchises, maybe. Now, some of them could be already ruined, but, I mean, but I don't think it could be any worse than what Disney's doing, honestly. That's the thing with the franchises, by referencing that the, making characters reference they own them all the time and stuff. That's freaking creepy and annoying and stuff, and I don't like it. I, I don't, I don't want to watch TV to be reminded of something, you know, I not really want to, I want to watch TV to laugh and 
that goes for adult cartoons too. I'm gonna laugh, not not be reminded of stuff, you know, in real life, you know. That's something that South Park tends to do way better than other stuff, so I don't know. But yeah, I think it's starting to kind of sprinkle too. Um gonna have to make this quick though. Uh, this video is kind of long though, but I don't know. There's a lot of reasons. I gave you guys a lot of reasons why why they could end up, you know, selling Fox. Like I said, they that they're in their billions of dollars of debt. They are that are still they're technically still paying. I hear they're still paying Fox too. So for the the rights and stuff. So clearly, clearly they don't they don't have all the money to do it and stuff and. And they, and with with their movies kind of failing too, they might have to do something. Otherwise, the, the Disney can go bye bye, you know. So they may have to do something. But I'm not sure. But here's the thing too. With, with I was gonna bring this up too before I started talking about you know why why I like you know I'm not making a separate you know video on could they not sell it. I mean, I mean, they could just shut it down because this is where this comes in the place here. I've I've seen, I've heard a lot of 20th Century Fox films that had been released under the Disney intro and not the the studios itself. So, so that that's kind of where like you know it's confusing because I mean they could they could just shut it down too, but that'd be stupid of them. I'm not gonna lie, they, they really probably should sell it. They really need to sell it because they're they're freaking losing a, a shit ton of money right now. They need to sell it. They need to, t to have it like Comcast or, or Paramount or someone else take over Fox because they're not gonna have the money to do it. They really aren't. I mean, they could end up selling it back, back to Fox too, but that's more unlikely because I think Fox has moved on. I think they're... They 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 have Tubi now because they bought Tubi. They used Disney's money to buy Tubi, so now now they're competing with Disney Plus and all the others. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what will happen here. This is again, this is just a theory. That doesn't mean that this will actually happen. But if I were Disney, I I would totally totally sell Fox. I would totally sell it. If I were the new CEO, I'd be like. You know what? We're we're losing shit tons of money. We need to we need to sell something, and and Fox is the biggest of, of our companies. We need to sell it. So, I mean, I, I could totally. I mean, I don't. I'm not totally. I, mean, I I would totally do something like that. I would totally, you know, go and sell it and stuff. But I don't know. But I don't. I don't know. I'm. I mean, tell me what you guys think. You guys think Disney? Disney could end up selling Fox. Um, you guys think they'll keep it? You know, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Also, tell me if you guys think they'll just shut it down and piss off more people because Disney loves doing that these days. They love pissing off, you know, more people because they don't give a shit. But I don't know. Um, with Bob Chapek in charge now, things are a little bit different now. You know, he's more focused on money while Bob Iger is focused on growing the company. So. Maybe Bob Chapek will be like, we 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 need we need to do something because we're losing money and maybe we should sell Fox. I don't know. Um, but anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to more videos and content and check out my um, my other theory videos and my blue sky videos. And also, you guys can check out some of my um, my uh, Family Guy reviews too. Um, now one of them, one of them is not very good. I, I might redo it. I'm not sure. Um, one of them I kind of regret. Um, I kind of messed it up a little bit. Um, it's the North, Road to the North Pole episode. I may re redo that one. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Because I was rewatching it and stuff just for fun and realized it kind of sucked. You know, because I, I like to rewatch videos for fun. That's my you know, my you know thing. But anywho, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time and um. Have a wonderful summer, and um, enjoy your guys' summer break if you guys still go to school. Anywho, bye-bye.